So you're walking along, enjoying your journey, applying to graduate school, when suddenly you reach a fork in the trail. Don't worry, friend, you're not lost. You're simply at GRE versus GMAT Junction, and you have a big decision to make. I'm Mason, a test prep expert with Magoosh, and I'm here in this video to help you determine the right test for your application needs. So we're gonna break down the major differences between the GRE and the GMAT so that you can make an informed decision that's right for you. In this first video, I'm gonna break down the practical differences between the two tests and focus on the content of the exams in the next video. Now, if you're someone trying to decide between the GRE and the GMAT, the first and most natural question to ask might be, well, which tests do more people take? Of the two exams, the GRE is by far the more popular. On a given year, around 500,000 students will take the GRE, compared to around 225,000 students who will take the GMAT. Now, what accounts for this difference? Is one test just better than the other or easier? The answer is a little bit more complicated and has to do with who tends to take each test. Let's start with the GRE. The GRE is a widely accepted component of application packages for master's and PhD programs in the humanities and in STEM fields in the US. And it's also accepted by many MBA programs or other business programs. The GMAT, on the other hand, has a slightly more specific fan base. Essentially, the GMAT is required only by MBA and business programs and is generally not accepted by other humanities or STEM programs in the US. So if you're interested in applying to graduate programs that are not related to business, it's very likely the GRE is the test for you. Although just to be safe, it's always good to check with admissions representatives and department websites to see what the requirements actually are. If, on the other hand, you are interested in business school, you might still have a decision to make. An increasing number of MBA programs are starting to accept the GRE as a standardized test, and often an MBA program will accept either the GRE or the GMAT. So we're going to have to dig a little bit deeper to really parse out the differences between these two tests and decide which one is best for you. How much does each test cost? It stands to reason that if you're someone who is interested in business school, that you probably take costs pretty seriously. So let's talk about how much each test actually costs. Currently, the GRE is offered for $205 per attempt for everyone living within the continental US. The GMAT is just slightly more expensive at around $250 per attempt and maybe upwards of $275 to $300 at some locations. So if you're working with a very limited budget and you're planning on taking either test more than once, then the GRE might have a slight edge financially. However, make sure you check with your programs to see if they do have a preference between the two tests. If they do, then don't let the cost deter you from choosing that test. Let's talk next about the where, how, and when each test is administered. The race is pretty close here between the two tests. Both tests are offered year round at secure testing locations. The only meaningful difference here is that the GRE is offered in a paper format in some testing locations, whereas the GMAT is strictly administered on a computer. So if you're someone who maybe has limited access to a computer at home or is a long distance from a testing center, that might be a factor to take into consideration. All right, so that's the nuts and the bolts of each test. In the next video, we're gonna dive into the content of the GRE and the GMAT. How are they similar? How are they different? How can we use that information to make a wise choice? Stay tuned, check out my next video to see more.